I am Kevin Walker. I'm a professional football player for Jurgården in Stockholm, and I'm a winner of Swedish Pop Idol. I got into football very early. My father is a football coach and had a career in England, and he moved to Scandinavia with my mother. I made a lot of caps for the under 17s, under 19s for Sweden. And I played for Örebro, Gif Sundsvall. I played for AIK. Then I've been in Jurgården as well now. With a bit of luck, I could have played for even bigger clubs. Unfortunately, I got blood poisoned then, 2009, and that kept me out of football for a year, which was when I bought my first guitar. If there was a fire in my house, <laughs> I would take my baby and my, <laughs> and my girlfriend and this guitar. That's what I would say from, from uh, because it meant so much to me and it was the start for, for the whole music career thing. I had a teammate up in Sundsvall who was a piano player and he'd been asked to do a open mic thing on the casino up there. And he wasn't able to do it, so he asked me, can you go there and rehearse and do four songs like in a month's time? And I was like, yeah, I'll do that. And then somebody's girlfriend filmed me and when Pop Idol were in town, they saw the clip and they asked me, can you come in and audition? And I says, I'm a football player. I'm not sure if I, it's on Sunday. Okay, we're free on Sunday. Okay, yeah, I'll come in. So I went in and the rest was history. They got scared when the last went low. I think my football definitely helped me to get through Pop Idol because there was a lot of tension and a lot of media and a lot of stuff that I was not used to at all. I was a little bit older than most of the other contestants when I was in there, but I could see a difference in my way of handling criticism and their way of handling it because they weren't used to it in the same way. I feel like football really helped me to manage mentally. You get hurt, I'll take your pain. When you win something, you get a trophy. So I called the producer up and I was like, where's my prize, you know? And he was like, well, we don't normally give out one. We'll make me a prize. So now they actually make these for, for all the winners after me. <laughs> Football was going great and I was playing there and I'm flying down, singing on Fridays, going back up. And, you know, it was a fun time, you know? And uh, I felt like this is a trampoline for the rest of my life, probably. If, and I just kept going through the stages and, and I ended up singing with Robbie Williams in the big globe in Stockholm here and it was a, it was a fun time, you know. I've been amused, I've been admired, I've been amazed, I've been betrayed. Come on, this what I, say. I was probably the most nervous during the whole period before the rehearsals with him. Then we met the guy and he's such a great guy, I couldn't have been happier meeting him. I remember during the show later, I felt the tap on my shoulder and I looked over and it was Robbie standing and he was going, you didn't tell me you played football. Somebody told him like, you know, about my story and stuff. And he says, yeah, yeah. And he says, you're living my dream. He goes to me, he loves football. So we, we stood there talking about football. I nearly missed my cue to go out on stage, you know, and uh, he's, he, it was a great experience for me. One I, I cherish for a long time to to be able to sing along, somebody you've looked up to so, so much to, like him, it was, it was big. If you look at a lot of us that have careers outside of football, I would say something severe happened to us as well, where we were like, oh shit, I need to think about things, I need to evaluate what I'm gonna do if football doesn't work out for me. Normally we don't have players uh, that's famous for other things than football, so, so it was a bit different, of course. We have a lot of players that's well known, so that's nothing new to us, but we just having two careers were a bit different, yes. Yeah. It's not easy having two occupations and going against the norm or the, the sort of mold that is made for football players and I'm doing it my way. I'd like to say I'm a rebel because it sounds very romantic, but uh, I, I don't see myself that way. I just go about it as I'm, I am me. So I hope that my type of story opened a lot of doors that you can do more than just be the football player that everybody wants you to be. Because it, that's what it's about. It's about old standards and stuff. If you're able to come in and perform in, and in training and you're performing in games, I mean, who is anybody to tell you what you do with the rest of your time? My style is what comes out of me. So I, I can't tell you if I'm country or if I'm pop. 
I just write music that I genuinely like myself. I'm trying to fuse singer-songwriter with modern sounds and um, the more and more I release, the more and more I'll define my sound. I'm hearing voices when there should be silence Why can't you leave me alone? I have my family and I have football and music, you know, that's, that's my life and I love my life. And um, the big target is to to be able to stand in Madison Square Garden in 10 years, like, you know, let's see if I can do that. It's not impossible. A few songs away, I could be in, in uh, anybody could be in Madison Square Garden if you have the right path. But I don't, I, I've chosen that as a, as a benchmark. You know, you could choose whatever you like, but that's, that's my goal. That's what I'm aiming for. And let's see what happens along the way, the same way as in football.